as we meditate, we find a source of rapture inside. That's good in lots of ways. One is that once you get used to finding where it is, you can tap into it when you need it. As the Buddha said, we can feed on rapture. In a world where people are feeding on all kinds of horrible things, they're trying to find their satisfaction in killing, stealing, illicit sex, lying, taking intoxicants, which is like eating food that's going to burn your intestines out. And some people say, well, if they're doing it, we should do it too. And that's that's wrong view. As the Buddha said, we live in a world where it's confusing, a world where it's in turmoil, but we're not in a turmoil, we're at peace. We refuse to go along with the general trend of things. And it may mean that we have nothing in terms of the world, but at least we have our virtue, we have our source of happiness inside where it's safe. If your source of happiness is outside, people can take it away. They can steal it, they can destroy it. But if your happiness is inside, okay, then, then you're safe. Someone once asked a John Munn if you could divide a person's virtue from his or her mind. And John Munn said, no, if you could define it, divide it, people would steal other people's virtues. But you can't steal anyone else's virtues. All you can do is get them to do something that's not virtuous. In that case, you've, you've harmed them. You've led them to make a mistake. But if they resist your, your efforts, then, then they're still safe. It's the same with you and the world. The world is trying to get you to jump on the bandwagon with their ideas about what should be done, and oftentimes it involves killing and stealing, all kinds of immoral things. But you can say no. You have the right to say no. And that's your protection. But of course you're going to need something to sustain you, and this is one of the reasons why we meditate. As I said, you have food inside for the mind. There's a food of rapture that comes when the breath settles in and feels good throughout the body. And there's a food of self-esteem that no matter what anybody else does, you're not going to stoop to low behavior. You're going to keep your standards high. That way you can live in the world and not be damaged by the world. And you provide a light, you provide a good example for other people to see that, yes, human beings can behave in a noble way. Years back I was giving a talk to a group of people, and I happened to mention the word dignity. And at the end of the talk, there was a woman who immigrated from Russia. She came up and she said, I've been here in America for ten years. I learned the word dignity in my English classes in Russia, but I never heard anybody here say it. Which is a sad reflection on our culture. All everybody seems to be interested in buying, 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 selling, selling, selling. And it's good to stop and think, what are your real virtues in life? What is the real source of genuine happiness in life? Well, it comes from noble virtues. It comes from following the noble path. So think in terms of nobility and dignity. You are a human being with human potentials. So try to keep those potentials on a high standard.